maybe. <laughs> you know, it <laughs> seems like these days they're trying to come down on us motorcycle riders, man. They're trying to make it very difficult for us, trying to get rid of us out here. Yeah, I just saw a news report where they're actually talking about banning motorcycles on public roadways. And this was mentioned in the UK, out in Europe. And I am so sick of hearing crap from Europe. Also, California is really tough on motorcycles. They're going to ban all gas dirt bikes by 2035. They're always trying to pass stricter emissions regulations. They got the new Euro 5 standards because they need to tighten up, you know, cork up the bikes more so it doesn't release any emissions in the air. I think it's absolutely ridiculous that they, they focus on motorcycles. It's such a small population in the world compared to cars. Don't leave us alone, man. And now they're saying they're going to ban us. Ban our mo yo, us motorcycle riders, ban our motorcycles from public roadways. And you know it always starts in Europe, and then it comes over here to the United States. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Make sure to visit CycleCruiser.com and click on the menu tab My Videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. You know, I tell you guys, a lot of these riders out here have a real effed up day because a lot of them just don't wear gear. If you simply wear gear, that'll help save some lives right there. And I tell you, I have some really awesome gear. This ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with auto tint shield, motor vlog camera, airbag vest to help keep you safe, shorty gloves, Sedici jacket, boots. All my gear always include links in the description and comment section of my video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't help you have fools out here like me busting wheelies and, and revving the throttle and acting a fool out here and being an absolute menace. But you know what? I do it out here on these little back roads and with nobody around. I'm not here trying to show off to anybody and trying to irritate people, you know, like some of you guys bikers do. No! <laughs> Which I can kind of understand how they want to get us off the streets because a lot of you guys act a fool out there. <laughs> but they're saying that motorcycles are a public health hazard because so many riders are dying like every day. And it's true, man. And in some areas, a lot of riders are getting killed, but it's a lot of these fools out here that are, are the cause of it, man. You know what I'm saying? Fools out here that are racing, trying to be a street... Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> Trying to be a street rossy and get some knee slide action out here. Uh, racing each other up to you know 200 mile per hour plus out here on the streets. Being a highway bandito. These are the fools out here that's going to end up causing us, our bikes, to be banned out here on the streets, man. Seriously. And, uh, you know, so we, we got to do our part out here, guys, somewhat, man, to... To at least wear the gear. That right. If if everybody wore gear, guys, dude, that would reduce uh, the loss of lives and uh, slow it down. Keep the front wheel down if you can. <laughs> Don't do do as I say, do. Don't do as I do out here on the streets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now I'm pretty tame out here. You know I'm tame. Some of you guys call me slow. That's my name though, Cycle Cruiser. You know, cruising. Not not a Cycle Street Rossi, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just like cruise bus wheelie, you know, do a little power, uh, you know, crank the throttle a little hit here and here and get a little that, that feel that torque. Feeling real good, making me feeling good. But that's all I do, you know what I'm saying? I got rid of my, my super bikes, cause they, they bring trouble, man. <laughs> That last ticket I got, I was like two miles per hour from getting my bike impounded and arrested and having, and uh, ended up with a crazy fine, man. And, uh, oh, isn't it gorgeous out here, man? Look at this. This is, oh, uh, this is one of the reasons why I stay in Ohio up north, because I love fall. Fall is gorgeous. The yellow and red trees and beautiful riding weather. Oh, you can't beat it, man. 
But if you guys just take it easy, wear your gear out there, man. You know, it'll save so many lives out there. And, and then these fools in Europe, which don't, they don't have nothing else to do but to focus on us riders out here. And in Europe, I mean, the, their riders are a whole lot safer than they are out here in the United States. <laughs> Out there, because they got so many laws, man. You got to start on pretty much like on a little scooter motorcycle, like 125 cc or something, and work your way up. Uh, you know, compared to here in the United States. Yeah, baby. <laughs> you can pretty much go get a temp license and go get a Hayabusa. <laughs> so, which is crazy. Go get an H2. Go get your tip license. Go buy a brand new H2. And believe me, man. Some riders, some, some noobs out there do just that. <laughs> They're crazy, man. I'm telling you, man. And that's that's why we got so many fatalities here because we, you know, they do need to be a little, probably a little stricter with that. Um, they shouldn't allow new riders, you know, to with, with a tip license just go ahead and get a brand new H2 or a high boost or something crazy. That's just stupid, you know. But a lot of people lack common sense, so they need laws sometimes to help to help save them. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm not for law, extra laws, don't get me wrong, guys. But I hate to see new riders have a real effed up day out here. You know what I'm saying? Because they lack common sense. You know, when I started riding, guys, I started, started back riding because I rode as a teenager. But many, many years later, I started back uh, probably about 2009, I think it was, or eight. And I got a Chinese 178cc Chinese scooter. I didn't have my let my ego take control, you know. I started at the bottom, the bare bottom, and worked my way up to a CBR 250R, CBR 600RR, CBR 1000RR, uh, Ducati XD of Hell. Um, then I got the, uh, of course, I got the. Uh, my YZ 450 FX Supermoto WR 250R. You know, actually, when I got into the dual sport world, I started with the small, with the WR 250R. You know, I started at the bottom, and then I got the 450. There's no way in hell you would see Cycle Cruiser, even with all the years' experience on a motorcycle, hop on a 450 out here on the street. Especially with having rode a dirt bike since I was back in the way back in the day um, These things are so violent and wild man um, Compared to WR 250R and your know, little 250 bikes They give you some leeway man. They got some safety. You know you rip the throttle It's not crazy torque or throw you know throw your balance up. You got to develop some skills to work your way up to a 450 same with the regular street bikes out here. You got to work your way up the power ladder, man. And small, lightweight bikes are actually more fun out here on the street anyhow. Because you can't go but so fast. Let's just hope and pray they do not ban motorcycles. Because that will really suck. But they're going to end up banning combustion engines anyhow. We're going to be forced to riding uh, freaking electric motorcycles. Which I won't completely knock them. Because they are making some better. Even adding some sound on them on the new this Aprilia one they're talking about making. Where it's gonna have some sound on it and and they're quick and everything they got a ton of torque and stuff but it's just something about a, a combustion engine gas engine with the vibrate little vibration you get the feel of it feels good you don't get that with electric you know the only thing i want electric is my golf cart <laughs> and my lawnmower i'm cool with that man but a motorcycle i want my motor i want my motor i want to at least have that option so i i hope they don't ban that either but anyways, guys, leave a comment below. What do you guys think, man? What do you think? We will come together and we will fight this if they try to ban us, our motorcycles out here on public streets. I'm going to tell you that. We are going to come together. All of us. Harley riders, sport bike riders, scooter riders, dual sports, super, all of us. I'll ride all kinds of motorcycles. We will come together like a brotherhood, like a family. And we will fight that. We will keep you from banning our beloved motorcycles out here on the public streets. That will not happen. Because we won't allow it to happen. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my All The Motorcycle channel. And check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. 
Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.